Welcome, my name is Israel Gross and I'm a Principal Solutions Advisor at Rocket Software. Today I'm gonna to show you what to expect when you log on to Omegamon for the first time and then show you some tips about setting your initial workspace. So to start out, we're gonna log on to the E3270, which means we need a 3270 emulator session. I have a session up here, I use Rocket Terminal Emulator. And when I go into session and configure, you'll notice that I have changed my default screen model type to a model 3290, which gives me 62 rows by 160 columns. The default on uh, Rocket Terminal Emulator is a 24 by 80, uh, which is a little bit small to see all the detail that uh, Omegamon will give you back. In fact, I'll show you here that a sign-in screen for Omegamon, when you use a 24 by 80, fills the entire screen. Let's log on now with our extended screen. And you can see the difference, right? A lot more real estate to work with. So when you log on for the first time, you'll get a screen that looks like this. It's the Hub Connectivity Administration screen. Uh, basically, you need to connect to a Hub TEMS, TEMS standing for Tivoli Enterprise Monitoring Server. Uh, and you have to select the one you wanna connect to. If you click next, it'll give you the number of options or choices. And generally most customers will just have one. If you see more than one choice, then you should check with the person that installed Omegamon for you to figure out the right one to connect to. I'm just going to select it here. I'm going to confirm my choice with a yes. And then everything is green. So I'm gonna click save. And the next thing you know, you're looking at your initial workspace. Now I'm just gonna log off to show you that we have now bypassed that screen. So when I log on this time, I should not see that screen anymore. What you will see instead is a Megamon E3270 UI what's new. Now, once you know what's new, you probably don't wanna go through this screen. You can always click next and go through help or you can use the help button over here. But for now, we wanna ensure that we don't see this each and every time. So we're gonna click in that box. We're gonna put a little X there. We're gonna click exit. And then that will take us to the initial workspace. Now, if I were to log off again, and log back on. You can see I've bypassed that screen. Now, if you're like me and you work with a individual product, so I happen to work with CICS, then you probably don't want your initial workspace to be at the event screen. So what you can do to set your initial workspace to say CICS is you go to the CICS workspace, and then you pull down the edit panel and underneath edit, you'll see there's W for first workspace. If you double click that, you'll notice everything in white on an Omegamon screen is a hyperlink. So you can just click on it to get to it. So this is gonna show you the events tree. You move over to the kicks tab. And then over here where it says optionally make this your initial display, type in a yes. For now, it has to be all in uppercase. Click save. And then it says, are you sure? You say yes. And the next thing you know, you're looking at the Kix panel, which shows you the Kix plexes that are in your system. Now, if you're like me, you probably don't want to see the tabs across the top of the screen. First of all, it eliminate some of the space you have to work with. And if you don't intend to use any of the other tools, then perhaps you want to use a different workspace that will not have those tabs. So I'll show you if you click on navigate, you can see all the other um, products that are available to you. If you click on kicks, you'll notice that the workspace that shows up in the left-hand side is KCP start. If I were to hit PF3, you'll notice the workspace with the tabs is KOBS CICS. So I'd like my initial workspace to be KCP start. Well, if you go into edit, but if you wanna use the first workspace, you can't really set it to KCP start because it'll bring back the tabs. So the easiest way to do this is to go into preferences and then under preferences, you'll see session login and you could see it's set to KOBS CICS. So what we're gonna do now is change this to KCP start. We're gonna click save. 
We're going to say, yes, we're happy to change the profile to that. And then we're going to log off and log in to see that it made our change. So I'm going to exit out of the system. I'm going to log back in. And you can see I have KCP start as my initial workspace. Now, don't worry if you do decide you want to go to another product, you can always hit the navigate tab and that will give you the choice of all the other products, including the events console. Or if you want to, you can actually hit PF9. PF9 will give you the tabs down at the bottom of the page, as you can see here, and you could select any of the other products using the tabs. So hopefully you've seen how to log on for the first time and how to set your initial workspace. Thank you for joining.